experiment to prepare a standard solution of ammonium iron 2 sulfate and use this to standardise the solution of KMnO4 by titration. To enable this chemistry teacher to read the meniscus, this Eureka desk is lowered to ensure accuracy in carrying out the titration. In this experiment, we will make up a standard solution of ammonium iron 2 sulfate. We will then use the standard solution to find out the exact concentration of a solution of potassium permanganate, KMnO4, by titration. About 9.8 grams of ammonium iron 2 sulfate crystals were weighed out accurately. Using a graduated cylinder, 20 centimetres cubed approximately of dilute sulfuric acid was added to a beaker containing 100 centimetres cubed approximately of deionized water. Crystals were transferred to the beaker containing the dilute sulfuric acid. The crystals were stirred to dissolve and when dissolved, the solution was transferred to a clean 250 cm cubed volumetric flask, taking the usual precautions to avoid losing any of the solution. All the washings were transferred to the volumetric flask and made up to the mark with deionized water. The stoppered flask was inverted about 20 times to get a uniform solution. The pipette burette and conical flask have already been washed in with deionized water. The burette was washed out with some of the potassium permanganate solution and the burette was made up to the mark with the solution. Remember when using potassium permanganate that you must read the top of the meniscus. Ensure that the tap and space below the tap are also filled. The funnel was removed from the burette. 100 cm cubed approximately of ammonium iron 2 sulphate solution was poured into a clean dry beaker. The pipette was washed out with a small amount of this solution and then 25 cm cubed of the solution was pipetted into a conical flask. Using a graduated cylinder, 20 cm cubed approximately of dilute sulfuric acid were added to the conical flask. The purpose of adding the acid is to supply the H plus ions in order for the reaction shown on the screen to occur. Titrate in the usual manner until a faint permanent pink colour is observed at the end point. Consider what is happening at the end point. As long as Fe2 plus ions are present in the conical flask, the KMnO4 solution, which is run into the flask, loses its colour. Once all the Fe2 plus ions have reacted, the next drop of KMnO4 solution gives a permanent pink colour. Thus, at the end point, one single drop of KMnO4 from the burette will turn the solution in the conical flask a faint pink colour. Thus, KMnO4 acts as its own indicator. Perform one rough and two accurate titrations.
The two accurate titrations should agree to within 0.1 cm cubed. Using the average titration figure, you can now calculate the exact concentration of the KMnO4 solution. The method of calculating is shown in your textbook. And this concludes this experiment.